Hey guys, so today we are doing a, not a wall mount, a ceiling mount, and uh, this is Creative Living, and those of you that have seen us know that this is an RV, but we still, we have a big TV, and we wanted to hang it from our ceiling, and uh, not use as much space, so we went, and we were not going to pay those crazy prices, so anyway, we went to Lowe's, and we got... Uh, this is called angle iron didn't need very much of it and although this is a 46 inch TV and then this was in the shelving section and these were only like two dollars a piece and this was three dollars so we don't have very much money into it at all I think it's less than ten dollars for everything and so uh, so far no tools are needed but you do need uh, the materials and we have it, we're going to be holding it with a screw, pretty thick screw here, and a bolt. And we'll show you what it looks like. We've got uh, our brackets up there. We've got to look at the back of our TV. And I don't like for my cords to show, so you can kind of see a bunch of tape or where it's been. So anyway, we're building a piece of metal here. And... Uh, this, oh, I'm sorry, let me back up where you said, uh, these screw holes here are the mounting screws. So if you were going to mount it to the wall or anything like that, it's called the Visa Measurement. So I'm just going to do this real quick so you can get the idea here. Put it right there. Screw it on in once it gets it once it's up there and it'll hold and uh, I'll show you guys that in just a moment. All right, so uh, I just showed you guys the back of the TV and this one here is a 46 inch as I mentioned, but every TV is going to be different and I've seen videos where they take a piece of wood, mount a bracket to it, then mount it to the wall. You don't have to do any of that. Literally, this is all you need. So this is up here. And you can see on the angle iron, and this is the shelving. I'm going to run this screw through there in the back of that. Then there is a nut that comes with it. And that's pretty close. <laughs> so we're going to kind of work it out from here. And then we're going to add the TV to it and show you guys what it looks like. And again, this is all for under $10. And whether it's in a house, an RV, you guys... You can do it. It's so easy. I did say no tools for the materials, but let me just say this. You will need a drill because that's the screws. we got screws in here that's holding that up. If you have, if you don't have a drill, you might know somebody that has a drill that you can borrow. And the other thing that you would need the drill for is to, because uh, the mountain screws, you can't change the size of. So you may have to make a hole a little bit bigger with a drill bit. And so that's it for, we'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It looks so good. And it's not taking up any space. It was so easy to do. Two, four, five, six, seven dollars and a couple of screws. You, you're in it. And I know some of you might be going, that's insane. But really, uh. I looked at a lot of um, TV mounts that are for sale. Uh, I looked at the way that it was made and uh, the items that was used. And I just knew there had to be a way that you can mount it to the ceiling and not have... I'm also going to go ahead and plug this in and show you what it looks like. And before, before I do that, though, I do want to show you this. You can see what it looks like back here. And you can see the many, many bolts that are up here. And this is, this is what's holding it. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm, I mean, I could pull down just as hard and it's not going to go anywhere. And, uh, got your two screw, screws, but right here and right here, nothing's going across it. We actually had it hung up for, uh, quite a while as a temporary, otherwise say quite a while, maybe a week or two. And it done just fine, so we went ahead and done it permanently and if we 
loosen these up, which I'm not going to do at this very moment. If we loosen these up, your TV can actually go backwards and it'll tilt. So, with you on uh, tilting it and also hiding your cable cords. And I'm going to have the TV on, so just a minute. Okay, this is the little box. And I understand that uh, you that's watching this may have a bigger box. But anyway, uh, I've got a piece of Velcro and it actually says Velcro and this stuff is serious. And so I'm just going to put a piece there. And now we have got the two on there and it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to come around the back and I've got the power cord plugged in, or I'm sorry, surge protector. I'm going to take the power cord, trying to go way back so you can get a good view, and I am going to get it, and then I'm going to run it through right here and here to take up the slack. And plug it in. There it is. Hanging up and working. Fully functioning. I love it. It's a great view. And everything is starting to stay on the floor. That's a whole new day. That's it's going to be like floating stackable shelves. And I can't wait to do that video. But anyway. Uh, it's holding. It's doing good. And I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And one more thing that I was going to totally forget is I said I was going to show you the cords. So come here and follow me. Alright, so anyway. Alright, now I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay, so I actually left off plugging in the power cord to the TV. There's the cable box. And excuse everything, guys, because, you know... We've been working on a couple of things here. <clears throat> Alright, and so it's kind of self-explanatory. The power cord and wrapped it around everything, the, the metal, and plugged it in. And the same thing with the box, the HDMI cord. And it's actually uh, nice and neat behind the TV. I mean, it's nice and neat as it can be, I guess. So that is how you do that um, as far as hanging it up this way goes. And there it is. It's got an angle on it and everything. Oh, seeing the deer. Alright, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, leave it in the section below. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Well, they know it's creative living. I was just showing we was in Alabama and it's raining today. Y'all, be creative. <laughs>